that now uh, we are very close to being able to make an offer so excited about that uh, we had an after hour social event which was um, run by staff which they came to me with the idea I had the wonderful job of just saying sure yeah <laughs> <laughs> sounds great uh, and they did everything else it was great it was supposed to be a movie night but they had so much fun talking that they didn't even get to the movie so <laughs> that's great. I, I think that's really really great that's nice um, Speaking of staff development, we have staff day coming up on March 9th. Um, we are very excited to be able to have a keynote address from the head of the ALA Center for the Future of Libraries. He's going to come talk to us, which is going to be wonderful. And then the whole theme is going to be the future is now. So we're going to have robots and... <laughs> Futuristic snacks, all sorts of stuff. Uh, but it is also a big training day for the new Polaris catalog, which we've started to talk about more and more internally. So I wanted to tell, answer some of your questions about the catalog. Um, basically, um, April 17th is launch day. You, as patrons, will notice uh, starting three days before that, that we can't do certain things. You will be able to um, see what's there, but you won't be able to um, check items in. We can check out, mm -hmm. but it's going to be on a very manual basis. That's about all we can do. So is that so, 17th, 18th, and 19th? It'll be the days before when the biggest impact. So it'll 14th be the 14th, the 15th, 16th, correct. Okay. Um, so that Friday night after we close, that weekend, that Saturday, Sunday, Monday, those are the three days where um, you won't be able to do holds, you won't be able to uh, check items in, uh, won't be able to it there will be some difficulty logging into remote databases but some will work actually mm -hmm. we're getting as many as we can to work okay. but there probably will be a few glitches on that end as well mm -hmm. but your best bet really is to do e-content during those three days <laughs> we are extending loan periods I was about that. yeah okay. Okay. Can you so check, can you check out an ebook my media mall mm-hmm Okay. Yeah, that's curious. what I'm saying. Use your e-books those, those three okay, days. Okay, I, I want to yeah. make sure I understood what you were saying. <laughs> I thought you were talking about, like, the electronic databases. Yeah, well, those those two, but, yeah, my media mall will be fine. But nobody okay. will be penalized for having a book out that needs to be returned that weekend because they'll, they'll extend right. past those dates. So due right? dates yeah. will be extended, okay. fines will be waived, mm -hmm. all that good stuff. So we are trying to get the message out that we want patrons to keep their items at home mm -hmm. <laughs> for a few days for that at least you know even for that full week you know kind of yeah. it's just like yeah don't bring them back until then because we can't check anything in right okay so um that's what one action is they just extended everything till march 6 because right. they've been closed so you just get an extra long time uh, <laughs> yeah. right so it'll be it'll be like that yeah. um <laughs> And yeah, there are a few things that if you um, really like your lists, if you're one of those people who keeps track of the books you read, you need to save that list. You, e you can email it to yourself, okay. but that will not migrate. Okay. All that will be lost. Okay. So we are trying to get that message out too. I have not received that message. So well, we haven't started the messaging because of the because <laughs> it's too soon. It's like it's right in that. It's too soon that, that people might not remember in time because it's April 17th. But we're going to hit it hard and heavy in mid-March. Got it. Yeah. Um, so, But you guys get a preview. So save your list. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I didn't even know there was a list. How I didn't know there was a list. You can email it. Like, you turn it on. <laughs> an like, it yeah. keeps track of all the items you've checked out. And do you have to turn it on? Yeah. Okay. Well, then there is no list. I need to talk to one of the libraries. <laughs> yeah. Because I don't have a list of what I've read. I have a list of books that I want to read. Mm -hmm. In your, right. Okay. So anything in your account like that, talk to them downstairs. They'll help you figure out how to email okay, it to yourself. Good. Yeah. So we want to make sure that, uh, beyond that, though, all your data will transfer. All okay. the, your account information and all that is going to transfer. Mm -hmm. Um so like now passwords and stuff like that passwords will be reset okay um that's okay because i never mind remind <laughs> <laughs> i like it when it was just patron yeah patron <laughs> just leave it as patron yeah suggests 
So passwords are going to be reset. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so there'll be so, there'll be some bumps, but we're going to do everything we can to make it as as seamless as possible. All right. So we're doing the salary grade project. Uh, March fourteenth is when I will show you the compensation structure that we're recommending. We can talk about it. Um, Kathleen and I had to close the library on February 9th. You all knew that, but mm -hmm. I wanted to put, make sure to put that in the report. You mean February 8th? Was it the 8th? Yeah. Friday? You reopened it oh, on yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. my yeah. apologies. I have yeah. the wrong date on there. Um, it was good to see that all of our systems worked the way they needed to work. Uh, everyone was notified. There was one... Um, Thing that I thought of later, which was I should have called the president of the friends also, oh. um, and that wasn't written in our manual. Oh, that's actually a good idea. And I thought about that, like, oh, because if a volunteer was scheduled mm -hmm. to work or right, something. Right, if the books down were supposed to be open. Right. Mm -hmm. Do you yeah. call the so, police when it's going to be closed? I contacted the village, okay. so I'm, I don't know whether they... Call this, the who decides that this is a, a shelter. like a warming center. A warming center. Mm -hmm. We're not the, an official warming center. I mean, the you have to go through a particular process in order for that to happen with the state, which means you have the correct emergency supplies and you have. But no, but what, but they were using the library as a warming. Center. They were saying that colloquially, but when we Locally. looked into it, they realized. It was just informal. Oh, right. go to the library, right. that sort of thing. If you, you know, for example, if we were open but mm -hmm. you lost your power, oh, go to the library. But we weren't really, as you said, a formal warming. Right. I think is the park district because I feel like the park district was was open. I'm not positive. Though. Probably should look into all of that. What that actually means and who is, so we know who actually is. So we could tell because people because we did discover the village. Really There's one in yeah. Evanston. That yeah. I don't think the park district is the official yeah. warming center. The closest. One I believe is an So we don't have one in all that. Mm -hmm. We're the unofficial. We were the unofficial. Right. Board. And mm -hmm. all, you know, and we, and that's an important role. But in a, an emergency situation, we don't have the, the supplies and the certification we would need right. but to that, be a, but, a warming center, like overnight, for example. But my point was, whoever was directing, you might want to put that on the list to call to let them know we won't be open. Yeah. If they send people informally here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I assumed it was the village, and, and they, I mean, they were informed. I was um, along with the park district and okay. the school superintendents. We have a an email group that we communicate. Is there, like, a, should I have contacted the township? I don't know. Yeah. I, probably one of these days we should just find out who is a warming center. I mean, because they have said things informally, and then you ask them, well, wait a minute, we, nobody told us we were this. They go, oh, well, we didn't. Right, because I remember formally. just there being a lot of ambiguity yes. but and no clarity. <laughs> so <laughs> it seems to be the same situation. So we should figure that so out. So sometime we should sort of track okay. that down a little bit. But I think yeah. we, we did it exactly right for Okay. We have some more HVAC work. Um, the ongoing. It never ends. <laughs> it never ends. It truly never ends. We didn't pass the the, uh, the process. The um, there was a duct detector issue with um, the permit process that um, wasn't connected. So we need to get that done. How did it pass yeah. inspection initially? Then no, it didn't. No. Once it was installed. Okay. It did not. Mm -hmm. Um. So our vendor did not. But you um, have to, if it's licensed, somebody from the little Met comes mm -hmm. to look at it, doesn't it? Yes. After it's finished. So mm -hmm. how did it pass that? That's, that's what I'm saying. That's the part that did not pass. Okay. Yeah. So we were issued a permit, and the permit had um, the criteria on it, uh, and then the, our vendor installed it, but they missed that piece from the permit. And so when the fire inspector came out to look at it and noticed that it wasn't hooked up to our fire um, system, that we didn't pass it, so that's why we have to get it reinstalled. But they're live. But who installed it? Are they live? Are they? They are. Yes, they acknowledge the they made a that. mistake. Yes. Okay. Yes. Because this is the one they, yes. the thing they recommended that we sort of add in. Isn't that right? That's what I. You know that. We didn't need to have this piece. Right. Well, 
that's the changing their story on that one too no i mean for the permit we had to have it and we had to that was for i think that was an older mm -hmm. code okay. Yeah, uh, but for new codes, you have to not only have them, but have them connected to your fire alarm system. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Um, so we are getting it fixed, and our vendor uh, is taking responsibility for that. So we talked about signage already. Uh, furniture is going to be coming in about a week. <laughs> So I'm very excited about that. Mm -hmm. Some of the new furniture, we'll start to see how people are using it. Um, I am investigating a security system based upon this prior incident that happened with staff. They have lanyards that you, uh, you can push a button oh. and it sends a, a silent alert, which I think is a little better than a table or a desk because- People are walking around all right. the time. Well, and right, and, and I know that they couldn't find, or the receptionist, the operator didn't know who the monitor was, and so it just only happened that, that uh, Jim was walking through the hallway. Right, didn't yes. know who so, was right, on duty. Right, right, right. we yeah. did have a new operator right, as well. Yeah, it was so. a, yeah. Um, yeah, exactly. We want to fix that so it doesn't matter. You don't have to know who's on duty. You just press the button. Press yeah. the button, yeah. right, and the monitor shows up. So that's what I'm going to be bringing to you in uh, hopefully next month. Will they be willing to wear it? Because I think of a lot of the mm. seniors who wear those alarms, and half the time they don't have those alarms on um, yeah, I mean, I think, I think and so. And I think of with the name tags. <laughs> right. Them, Staff's so. been asking for this. Oh, good. Okay. okay. They, the they really room, have. Where the incidents happen. It seems yeah. It's always yeah. in the front. Yeah. 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 So I wanted to point out a really great program, the Kindness Club that Youth Services is doing. Yeah, it's so just nice. incredible, and we hope to do more of that. Um, I think that teens are, would, would like to do more service projects at the library, so we're investigating mm -hmm. that with a volunteer program. How well, often does the Kindness Club meet? Uh, once a month, I believe. Okay. Yeah. So we did the patron survey, the Sunday hours survey, um, and it was very clear that people did not want us to be open on Sunday mornings. Mm -hmm. um, People, there were a few complaints about the survey itself. Uh, I admit the design was not professionally done. We, we did a survey monkey, and uh, our goal was just to get the temperature of the community, right. but we did not hire a professional survey designer for that mm -hmm. survey. Um, but it was clear that people don't really want us to be open early Sunday mornings. Um, and it's also clear that that late, that last hour of Sunday nights is a slower hour. Mm -hmm. um, and, but the hours in between people do still want that. So 7 so to 8 is to still, I mean, because the way the graph breaks mm -hmm. down is 7 to 9 p.m. So and how, you were doing two hour intervals. So, so how do you know? Correct, for the survey, but for the door counts. Oh, you, oh okay. Yeah, okay. the door counts show that it starts to go down after 7 p.m. Okay. But we're not talking about changing that at this point. No, not, no. Uh, the, the, the point of this survey was, oh. would people be interested in exploring Sunday morning right. hours, yeah. and we heard loud and clear that no, yeah. the community really doesn't yeah. want that. Interesting. All right. Any other questions about that? Okay. Uh, Kathleen and I went to the League of Women Voters local government event. It's always a lot of fun. <laughs> um, I do that every month if I could. Oh, and yeah. <laughs> Also, we're doing more outreach to local preschools. So we're trying to do a delivery of materials to them. Oh, that's great. Yeah, we also are doing more outreach to new Trier. So now that we have a, a few more staff, we are able to take our library services outside of the library walls in new mm -hmm. ways. So I'm very excited about that. And you guys all know about the Strategic Planning Conference because you were there. Thank you so right. much for dedicating your time and yeah, energy to this important process. Um, and now we have uh, coffee and tea. So that's the end of my report. Uh, so quick question. Is, this does not reflect all the comments that have come in. This is what was sent out. You, you, uh, the strategic plan. Oh, correct. Um, he's compiling that down. now. Um, did, I don't know if you took that survey, but, mm -hmm. um, the deadline was the 19th. And so he's compiling all that data and will be sending me a report. 
Uh, with respect to the coffee? Yes. I noticed we also got our first complaint. Of course. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> about it being a little too hot, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, and then and we, we should sleeves. provide sleeves. Sleeves, yeah. yeah. So we got sleeves. Okay. Good. Yeah, that, that was an easy button. button. We did. We got some sleeves. Problem solved, okay. yeah. <laughs> um, okay, thank you. Um, we do not have Jan here to walk us through. So maybe we can just Illinois. read it on our own. So please read it okay. on your own. Yeah. Although, in connection with that, did you go to the legislative... I am so sorry, I did not. Okay, so yeah. it took place without us. Okay. Um, yeah. And I'm sure they did just fine. Okay. Um, let's see, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Um, we've already talked about the library closing, new hire, um, Staff Institute Day, PLA, I believe Lisa's going. Right? Mm -hmm. There's quite a few staff that are going too. Um, anything anyone else would like to bring before this august body? Well, I guess just to uh, acknowledge that Heather just reached her one year anniversary at the library. Oh, okay. That's Heather right. Heather one year anniversary at the library. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah anniversary. Yeah. I guess I made it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so What's happening with the dictionary? Oh, right. Oh, it moved? Yeah. It, we did 